Alright YouTube, I'm going to go ahead and do a review for the Triton AX720 Gears of War 3 Edition uh, headset. I'm going to take you guys' suggestions, I'm just going to actually do the product and have it hands on. Uh, every other time I've kind of done a review just talking about it and a lot of people didn't really like that, the responses weren't too great, I've even been accused of apparently not having the product itself, which eludes me actually. Uh, so I'm actually going to have the product hands on and give you guys a good review this time around. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, just show you what you get in the box first. You get um, two replacement ear cups as well as a replacement headband. Um, but I had misplaced it. I really don't know where it is. Uh, just kind of got lost in all the uh, other things I got here. So um, You also get a replacement um, tool. Uh, used to kind of pop it out, um, make it a little bit easier to get out, uh, not worrying how to uh, damage your product, uh, maybe using a screwdriver or something like that, scratch it up, uh, just you know, make it still look nice. Um, you also get here a few manuals, um, you also get uh, a product guide of what else they have to offer, uh, just a few other things, and it is made by Mad Cats, it's branded off with Triton. Uh, which is actually pretty surprising because Mad, Mad, uh, Mad Cats doesn't really make the best kind of products. Um, they're mainly known for making uh, controllers. They've been making controllers since like uh, about the mid 90s and they're kind of a knockoff. Uh, break really easily, uh, don't last too long, but this is very good quality. Um, never have anything go wrong with it. Um, so I, I do give props to Mad Cats this time around for making uh, a good brand. Um, so let me show you also what you get here. Uh, you, like I said, you get a couple other guides here. It's actually a full setup guide. Is it in full color and everything? Shows you how to set everything up, which is really simple. I'll show you guys how to set it up as well. Um, there's a little quick start guide. This one's in black and white. Uh, you get a microphone that you get to plug in. I'll show you how to plug it in and all that. Um, you also get. Uh, like an extra like audio source because they do have these uh, come with Xbox because um, it does use um, optic uh, sound uh, there's your little optic uh, port right there that you would plug it into so they do give you one in case you didn't have it maybe been replaced or whatever might happen it does have the Triton logo on it as well and you also get, which is really surprising, an yeah, optical cable. These are actually really hard to find. They don't come too much with products that even do have optical. Um, so it is nice that they do give you one to give you that improved sound that does come with the optical sound. So they do give you one of those. Um, <clears throat> now you do, this is the main part of the product. It's the, uh, it's the box that they use to transform the sound into Dolby Digital, uh, give it the good sound quality that Dolby Digital does have to offer. Uh, it's Dolby Digital um, EX and ProLogic 2X. Um, so it does a really good sound. Um, uh, PLR 2X is the most recent type of Dol uh, Dolby Digital. So they, it is nice that they have it all packaged and bundled in here with it. Um, so basically, give you a run around on how this does work. You have your power button here. And you also have, uh, this is actually a knob, so you can control the sound with the box itself uh, if you didn't want to control it with um, the inline volume, uh, whatever reason that may be. And I'll give you a couple other tips of uh, how setting it up and all that is. Uh, you do have a button here that changes the modes, because right here it has, it can be focused in, uh, Dolby Digital, the PL uh, 2X, uh, it shows you the headphones right here on and a movie mode um, when you do switch the mode you'll see lights come up right around this area and they'll pop up so whenever you press this button it'll change so this will turn green red and you can s switch it on or off peel 2x is a little bit um, higher uh, quality but it does offer a lot more bass which in my opinion is a little bit overpowered with bass. I played Battlefield 3 on this and put the volume up pretty high and the headphones actually bounce off your head a little bit with how much bass is on it. So it's it's a little bit overpowering but it's it's still really nice. 
Um, does offer very good directional sound. Um, so I, I am really happy with the sound that it does offer from Dolby Digital. Um, this is the port where the headphones plug in. It is a special port. Only this headset will fit in here. Nothing else will. It's not a USB. It's a special made port just for this headset. So you can't use it any other way. And on the back of here, you just have where your power goes in. I'm not going to show the power cable. Some people do, but I think it's pointless. And you also have where your optical cable goes in. Uh, the optical cable, I've realized, um, is a little bit loose. Um, if it's uh, a little bit hanging off to the left or the right, the sound will not even catch at all. Um, that is one downfall of this. I've noticed I just jiggle the wire and it comes back on. Why? I'm not really too sure. Maybe it's something wrong with this specific one or something wrong with all of them. But it's something I encountered. Not really going to take it back just for that. Not a big deal. It does come with a one year limited warranty. So as long as you don't damage the product and it just messes up on you, you can send it right back. Um, to them and they will send you a replacement and try to fix it so um, as far as the look of it I do like the look um, like even the ear cups themselves do have the red inside of it um, kind of matches the whole scheme of the Gears of War um, even the top here uh, is branded with the Gears of War on it big Triton logo it does uh, illuminate a little bit red right here so it's pretty cool I do black and red is my favorite colors combined so I was that's why I really want to get the Gears of War 3 one um, it does have uh, Dolby Digital, like I said, and it's 7.1 um, virtual. So it's not actual 7.1, it's only two um, dies. It's not um, your seven dies and then bass. It's just two ear cups. And um, the actual surround actually have separate for each type of like uh, some that you have so you have like your bass your mid bass your tweakers and your uh, actual bass um, so it's it's fake surround but it does offer really good directional so I'm happy with it and I'll show you the actual headphones here here's the cord the cord is excessively long like, look at all this cord for me this is really just a mess because my Xbox is right next to my computer and it's just a tangle of wires it's it's kind of ridiculous now the cord itself is really durable it's like a rope it, I mean this thing is indestructible you can probably take like a blow torch this thing would do shit so um, here's the inline it does disconnect from the actual headset so you see there's the two and you just match it up in the top and I get plugged in here it plugs in and that's how it connects so you can quick disconnect it if ever it comes I actually ha had it where I stepped on the cord and this quick disconnected so that way it didn't mess up uh, the headset so that's nice now for the inline volume there's a lot of features on it actually you have your SVM which is your selective voice management what it does is when you have your um, headphone plugged in uh, you can actually hear yourself talk so that you're not trying to scream over the game uh, volume which is really nice but there is some problems with it that I'll go over um, also with it here you get this this plugs into your Xbox controller and this plugs into the side and then that will, that's what gives you your, uh, your microphone volume and for you to be able to talk um, it does have mic mute it's on and off um, don't confuse it with um, uh, how the mic volume works because um, when you select the mic mute you have to make sure that the mic mute is turned off for it to actually transmit the sound I, I somehow got it confused and I thought my headset was broken so um, now you can also turn off the selective volume uh, I'm sorry selective volume management voice management by pressing in the button and that will turn it so that way um, you won't be able to hear yourself talk and it does also have voice control so if, make sure you do have it enabled in your Xbox settings um, for your voice volume to go to your headset not to speakers because then this won't work so make sure that's that is selected um, also on here you just have your regular game volume so you can separate the sound and it does have a mute as well by pressing it in. So that's that itself. 
Um, so let me show you. Oh yeah, this as well. Um, it's it's just a stand that you get with it, so you can actually have this vertical if you decide to do so instead of having it sitting down horizontal. Which is pretty cool. It's a little addition that they gave the uh, for you for free, so it's it's pretty sweet. But I don't know. I'd rather just have it uh, sitting face down, not take the risk of it falling over and damage the product. Uh, so here's the actual headset. Um, they do pivot in and out. Um, so if you do want to have it around your neck, say you're not using it temporarily, somebody's talking to you, you can take off your headset, and then the, the ear cups will actually sit flat on your shoulders, so they're not all in, you know on your face. And you know when you look left or right, they actually sit down and rest uh, on your chest. So that's that's really nice. Um, also, this is all Gears of War band as you can see, and the top as well. And uh, let's see right here. Let's see if we can get it. So they do have uh, the really the color scheme. Like I said, is really nice all around. Also, this does retract uh, to fit different shaped heads. Um, oh yeah, and this does pivot up and down to fit your ears better. It is very comfortable after uh, I've used it, but I've used it for extensive play, and it, it will irritate your ears after a long time. I'd say around like six hours or so. You know, you're playing maybe some competition. You're on for a while it will um, kind of irritate you for a little while but it's it's nothing really bad it's not like it's going to cause you a headache or anything um, on the bottom here is where your microphone plugs in so let me show you how this actually plugs it doesn't just plug in straight you actually have to get it lined up let me see if I can get it focused yeah so right here you'll see that there's like a little notch there's also a notch right here on the headset so you actually have to get it lined up first, plug it in, and just twist it and it'll click in. Like that. And it also bends too, so that way you can form it any kind of shape that you want. So you know if you want it kind of close to your face or if you want it further away, it's really up to you. So they did a good job with that. I'm gonna take it out for convenience. And get it out. There we go. And also, this when uh, you do plug it in, uh, this whole area here on both sides, uh, they do light up completely. I'll, I'll show you how it looks when it's illuminated. Um, but it does blink when the Xbox is off, and when you're actually playing and the Xbox is on, then it uh, just glows a constant red. So they do, like I said, keep that red and black, which is really nice. And you got the Triton symbol on the side as well. It's really shiny, it's really nice looking. I do like the overall look of it, they did a great job with that. Um, so let me show you how, guys how to set it up. So like I said, uh, for this part you'll just plug in here and that'll, make sh that'll uh, connect it to your long ass cord that you have. Which is kind of nice if somebody doesn't have you know anything close, you know it's kind of far away. And then you take your end, which is um, that special port that I said, and you plug it into here. And then once you got that plugged in, you'll take your power cord, plug it into where it says USB, and this will be plugged into your Xbox, of course. And you take your optical cable. snaps right in and then you'll plug this end into your optical port and actually it even says it there optical in case somebody is dumb so you guys now this part doesn't click this is what I'm talking about it kind of wiggles left and right and that, like I said I did notice that it cuts out the sound completely which is really weird um, they should have definitely looked into more and getting it to click like this does make sure it's in place so that is a one downfall of it but it's nothing to ruin the headset really but it's really easy to set up um, then you take you said your power cord here that'll be plugged in and as all it is is USB you just plug that right into whatever USB port you have available on your Xbox and that powers it completely. Now the other ones, the AX720s and the AX720 Pros, 
Um, both of them have separate power uh, ports you had to plug into your wall then plug into your Xbox and it's really a whole new mess of cords that is even worse than this so it is really easy to set up you just plug this in and you're ready to go and it took me maybe 10 minutes to get it all set up in the way I want it so uh, it's excellent and then for this uh, make sure uh, you do press down on this part right here and then pull it out because if you don't then you could take the risk of damaging the inside of uh, the port right there and that would probably not be considered under warranty because the product was damaged to your own fault so make sure you don't do that as well um, now as far as the pluses and minuses I'll also go over that um, through my experiences I have played in mul multiple different types of games played first person shooters, racing games uh, I tried World of Warcraft on the PC as well as Counter Strike on PC, and I'll just kind of compare like the sound. Um, if you're gonna try and plug this into PC, I would definitely recommend um, having a good onboard uh, sound driver. If you don't, then it's gonna not match up too well. You're gonna have a lot of problems. Uh, the sound volume is gonna be kind of low. I'm having that problem because I have a really cheap motherboard, not very good sound. So make sure it does have Dolby Digital um, in there with it. Uh, it does not have support for EAX. EAX is probably one of the most um, prominent uh, sound types for PC, and it is not supported for this. So that is a little bit of a downfall, but it is made for Xbox. So can't really s say too much about that. Um, while playing uh, Counter-Strike on PC, um, the bass was a little too high uh, for the type of game it is. Uh, you really couldn't hear footsteps too well, but the direction was excellent. Like I said, the Virtual 7.1 does a great job, uh, so props to that, uh, considering it's not a PC platform. Uh, on Xbox, I played Call of Duty 4, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, Battlefield 3, Forza Motorsports 4 uh, and Skyrim on this. Every one of those have done an excellent job of keeping the directional sound, keeping the sound quality high, um, getting everything really the way that an audio file would, would like it. Um, a lot of people have said that it doesn't have very good sound for music. I will have to definitely agree with that. I've tried playing different types. I've played metal, rock, rap, everything and none of the sound quality for music is good at all um, the only time I would say that is good is if you have an equalizer on your PC so if you have a uh, onboard uh, sound uh, that does support a equalizer definitely good sound because I, I was able to uh, get it through Winamp and get an equalizer and evenly uh, make things the way that I wanted to to my preference and it, it does sound pretty good. It's still a little bit choppy for music, but not really recommendation. Um, I have watched a couple movie clips, uh, some YouTube videos on it. Um, I think that some people said that the sound for movies is not that great. Honestly, I think it, I think it's wonderful. Um, that's what Dolby Digital is for. It's 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 for movies. That's why there's a movie mode actually on this, uh, so you have a little bit better quality while watching a movie. Um, so I had a good experience with it. On um, Battlefield 3, the base was really overpowered. Um, you can't change whether or not you want more or less base. The only thing that you can choose is to turn off the PLX or PL2X and uh, just change it to regular Dolby Digital. That does reduce some of the base, but that's also reducing a little bit of sound quality. So that is a negative. Way too much base, but it does have really good highs. Um, you're still going to hear, you know. Uh, papers rattling, footsteps behind you, you're going to hear all the ambient noises that come from first person shooters uh, while maintaining uh, a good amount of bass. So I mean it is good if you're just looking to entertain yourself, um, but the bass is overpowering when you're trying to listen to your teammates while maybe driving a tank or something or in a jet and you really can't even hear your teammates even with the uh, voice volume all the way up. So. Uh, I guess you could always just turn on the game volume, but I like it loud and the bass kind of just muffles everything else, but it, like, it does still have really good crisp highs. Um, on Modern Warfare 3, not really complaints at all. When you have a lot of grenades going off, the bass does kind of overpower everything, but 
Uh, really, I can hear people that are running dead silence, no problem. Um, maybe if they're in the grass um, with no bushes around, nothing to rough, uh, rustle through, it's kind of hard to hear them. But if they're on concrete or metal, anything like that, you can definitely hear it, uh, even with dead silence on. So, And you can definitely tell where they're coming from with that virtual 7.1. It's almost hard to explain with just being two ear cups and how it sounds. Like you can just tell whether or not somebody's in front of you or behind you. It's it's something that I've never really seen with uh, just a basic stereo headphone. I, I've never seen that happen before, even with uh, my Steel Series headset that I had, and it was also Zen, uh, virtual uh, 7.1, and it doesn't even match up to this. So they did an excellent job. I do like the headset overall. Um, it costs 180 bucks, which isn't too bad. I got it from Best Buy, it wasn't on sale or anything, but um, for the price, it, it's a little bit high, but it's definitely better than Turtle Beach's. Turtle Beach, they just completely lack in any kind of bass at all. I'd rather have more bass than none, because it, it kind of just defeats the whole surrounding experience if you're trying to play a war game, and you have no bass to kind of come up with that. Um, like I said, the cord is just excessively long. I believe it's a, a 15 foot cord, which is way too long. Uh, if you're 15 feet away from your TV, then you shouldn't even really be playing first person shooters because you're not going to be able to see much. Um, and also another thing too, do you want to point out, is the inline volume. The SVM is, it's nice, but it makes a, it makes a buzzing noise. You'll hear it at all times. So the best thing to do, just click it, turn it off. It's it's a pointless feature. I mean, maybe if you're in a household full of people, then yeah, it's 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 nice so you're not yelling over everything. But it just makes a constant buzzing noise. Um, even when the voice volume's all the way up, it'll make like a hissing noise. So, but that you're not gonna be able to hear while you're playing. You'll hear that maybe in uh, in game uh, uh, menus or something like that. Uh, you're not gonna he hear it while you're shooting or anything like that. Uh, so that is, that is a little bit of a negative. I don't like that too much. Uh, like I said, the discomfort is is a little bit of a negative too. But that's after extended use, about like six six to eight hours. It's, it's really going to bother you. I didn't have that problem at all with my Steel Series headset, but I think that's because it was more of a, a mesh texture. As of these ones, they're more of like a uh, like a fake leather, like a vinyl material, and they just kind of give like a, a like a bit of a burning sensation. They do make your ears sweat a lot but the overall comfort isn't too bad and this as well like the actual um, the pad itself here isn't enough pad um, here let me try to find my my steel series headset like on these ones see this is my steel series here it's a lot more of a, a mesh texture and it's really comfortable you can wear these for hours and you have no problem at all um, like right here there's a lot more cushion to it. These will make your head hurt. These will, these are a lot more comfortable. My, I wish they would have went with something like that, but I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. That is a downfall. That's a, that's a negative, uh, complete negative, because this, this will definitely make the top of your head hurt. Um, so yeah. Um, now, I mean, as far as the overall, I, I'd definitely probably give it like a, an eight out of 10. Uh, one for the discomfort um, and then take off another point for the minor problems that I have had with uh, just stops working actually sometimes uh, easiest way to fix the problem just power it off power it back on and then you have no problem at all really only had that problem with computer though and, uh, never had that problem with Xbox so that's a little bit of negative took off a point for that as well as the uh, uh, the problem with the optical cord uh, being a little bit loose in there and cutting out the sound. Um, so yeah, that was paying $180. You expect perfection, but perfection is something that isn't really going to happen. Um, and if they had made a perfect headset, then there wouldn't be else anything out in the market be worth buying. So everything has a little bit of quirks, but. As far as the overall recommendation, I, I would take these over the, the Turtle Beaches any day. Uh, these these aren't wireless like the $200 Turtle Beaches are, but wireless you're always going to be replacing batteries. 
it's it's more of a hassle than just having a little bit of cord in your way it's not much of a problem like even the cord on um, on this here that you plug into the side to get your uh, microphone to work is really long like look at this like that's that's like a good two feet of cord when I don't think you're gonna be holding the cord to or the controller two feet away from you or it, it doesn't make much sense because you're gonna be sitting down when you're playing the only time you'll be standing up is you're playing connect and if you have headphones while you're playing a connect then you're an idiot because you're gonna trip yourself so this is kind of pointless so yeah with all those together uh, definitely take it down to an 8 out of 10 but it's it's a lot more better than the the turtle beaches and even better than my steel series actually as far as xbox goes not for pc all right well there you go i wanted to turn off the lights so that way you guys can see it that's how it illuminates this has like a flash to it i uh, somebody told me that it, it does have a solid um look to it instead of it flashing when it's on i haven't had that with mine maybe that's just a rumor but um, I've, I've never had that. It always blinks on mine. So, I mean, it does look pretty cool with the whole red and black. It definitely Gears of War looking, uh, which is kind of odd. I never played Gears of War with this on. But, yeah, I just want to go ahead and show you guys with that on as well. But it does look pretty cool. Alright guys, that's it. That's my review for the AX720 Gears of War 3 Edition uh, headset. I uh, hope you guys like my review this time around. Hope you're uh, a lot happier than I did last time. Uh, I'm trying to make videos more. i uh, just been having a lot of problems with my computer lately, so i try to put up more things. I've noticed I've been losing some subscribers, so I do apologize for that. For those who have stuck by and stayed with everything, that's great. Um, another thing too, I might be actually canceling my YouTube account. Um, really considering it because they've been taking off my videos. I uh, like that uh, Call of Duty Mobile Warfare 2 montage that I had that I won the competition with even, got featured, uh, won it on a website, they featured my name on there. YouTube took it down uh, for copyright when the actual video was up there for about a year. So, And then I've had uh, two or three other videos taken down for copyright as well. Um, I might just keep putting reviews up on YouTube uh, and just putting my, my montages and movies and other little videos that I do s elsewhere. But I'll definitely keep you guys up updated with that. Um, but I'm signing off for now. Hope you guys liked it and have a good one.